I have the great pleasure of being joined now by Dr. Helen Nadell, who is the incoming SNMMI president. I have to say congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. But I know you have a Herculean effort ahead. <laughs> I do. So tell me a little bit about your vision. My vision is to make sure that people know that nuclear medicine is a safe, effective, precise tool for imaging, diagnosis, and therapy, and can be used for adults and children, and that it can both prolong life and improve quality of life. What do you think some of the challenges have been getting that message out? I think the word nuclear is a is a hard sell a little bit. Um, medicine, people know about, but when you add the word nuclear, and yet it is safe. We use very small amounts of radioactive drugs, both to diagnose, and then when we need to treat, we use the right amount to provide effective therapy that maybe will pr improve quality and quantity of life. And that, I think, is the key, is talking about the possibilities of nuclear totally. medicine. Tell me about that. So the possibilities now have just expanded in the last few years with uh, the approval of new drugs for treatment of prostate cancer, for the approval and potential new coming approval for drugs that can d assess whether treatment for Alzheimer's disease is working. And we are positioned right in the middle of providing information that will be important to the managing physician and to the patient. We have our eyes on the patient. All right, you say you've got your eye on the patient. That is, of course, the theme of the meeting. What does that really mean? That means that everything we do in nuclear medicine is to improve patient care, prolong life and prolong quality of life. And so that means that uh, all of our constituent members of our society who include physicians, technologists, scientists, uh, industry, allied health professionals, they can learn about uh, topics in their field and they can also uh, look farther afield and look to what they're interested in, what the possibilities are in nuclear medicine. And the eye on the patient means that we also direct our attention specifically to the patient. At our meetings, we've had for many years a patient education day, which will occur on Sunday. And we will have patients come and talk about how nuclear medicine has helped them and how uh, it has uh, changed their lives. So. There are many ways that we have our eye on the patient, both here and for the future. How can attendees here help? What message would you give to them? They have a multitude of things they can learn from this meeting, both here at the meeting, and they can take it home with them because you have access to this information for many months after the meeting. And our website has a lot of information that they can access uh, right now. We are going to redesign our website and make it a little more friendly, but that's not quite ready. We're not ready for prime time right now, but our website is comprehensive right now. And people at the Nuclear Medicine Society offices are always willing to help and leadership and all committee chairs and technologists, everybody's willing to help. So call me. And being here is also very helpful. Find I think me. all coming together. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you.